So, we're going to test out a new game. It's a game that's in early access on Steam called Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. I enjoy it so far. Right now it's version 0.222 and it's relatively new, relatively young game. The best, I don't know if the developers would like this, but the best description I can give it so far in simplest terms it would be if Mountain Blade had a baby with armor. It's pretty good, right? I enjoy it so far. It takes some of the elements from both games and it kind of mixes them together really well. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to show you, I'm going to click new game. Mind you, it's still a very young game. Not too much is already in it, but the base, or er, not too much is already in it, but the base is already in progress. I don't really know how I can phrase this. Uh, so look, I'm going to click new game, but I'm not going to stick with it. You'll see why in a moment. So, bam, new game. You get to create your own faction, blah, blah, blah. And you can even upload a logo, right? So if you design your own flag, right? Create first upload your flag or create a flag place it in your particular folder in this format and then when you restart the game you can click it as a choice I'm gonna click this and blah 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 male or female they have a pretty good customization set so far or pretty basic customization set and it'll improve undoubtedly over time these are all this is all of the presets for the guys and all the presets for the ladies hair not that much same for the men not that much in the hair department and then hair color and so blah 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 blah. this is my guy now if i hit okay we load straight into the game see this is it and it's essentially like i said mountain blade if you recognize any form of play from mountain blade you'll recognize this setup you can tell how to move about by clicking you have your info Inventory, Prisoners, Party, Quest tab. I'm not going to go through these yet because I don't want to stay on here. The reason why I'm not sticking with this playthrough is because there's only two slots. One save, one load. And I think to get around the save, you could just move the save file. But I don't feel like doing that, so I'm going to load my game. My actual game. I'm a little bit further along. So the other one was day one. This is day three. So it's not like I'm particularly overpowered or anything. It's, I just prefer this one because I have my money, I have my troops. Uh, ignore that. That happens every time. Because, again, mind you, this game is still in early access, so certain triggers are still going to pop up. That is... That's day one. You start off at war with the Uman Brotherhood. They are like a... As far as I can tell, they're the equivalent of the Rebels in most games. And you can you can immediately set up truce, but you have to pay them a lot of money. To, er, yeah, to stop it. And you can pay a truce to anyone. Everyone has some generals. Generals, a very small amount, except, okay, apparently one faction didn't. I haven't looked at them. Oh, that's me! <laughs> this is me! <laughs> well, Vitarius, Maximus, Lucarius, Lynx, that is me. Why would I set a truce with myself? So we have no generals, but everyone else has about five generals. And then the Brotherhood, which is just a rebel faction as far as I can tell, and myself have zero. Now, I'm gonna stop the music. The music is there's only two tracks as far as I can tell, which is fine, but it will get repetitive fast. Hopefully, I can essentially drown it out enough that you can ignore it. But so, what was I doing? Um. Oh yeah. So I guess I'll just show you through the basic menus and stuff. It's not too much, right? The very standard, basic system here, and settings, blah blah blah. And so, quest menu. Is right here. I don't have any quests right now. There aren't that many quests as far as I can tell. Like every time, so look, this guy, I'm gonna talk to him. Tiger Elite Infantry. Do you have any tasks? What? Do you have any tasks? I don't have any tasks for you at the moment. What else do you need? Everyone says this to me. And if I say, how are you? All of them say this. So I don't think the developers have put in too many quests and or dialogues. I could try to kill him, but that's pointless. He has 86 soldiers. Uh... Where the quests are, as far as I can tell right now, are the contract boards, which I don't feel like doing any right now, and that's how I got my money. I don't know if it's an intention, but I kind of hope it stays. Um, basically, if you... Uh, if there are certain missions, like the particular ones that gave me the most amount of money, are the... You would have to train soldiers up. So you'd have to train, say, these guys up to... 
freeman status something like that and then they would give you you, you give up four trade five of them up and you get x amount of money and you repeat this process over and over boy i think i'm jumping around too much but okay so yeah that would be a type example of a quest you you would get them most of them seem to be here if i just click this hit accept i can color capture these guys collect the reward i don't have i don't feel like doing any of these so let's not do it they need tools mm. so you can rest we'll, we'll, we'll do it with the city in a moment so that's just the quest tab you can go to the city and as far as i can tell the cities seem to be the only places that allow you to collect um quests and then next is the party tab i like it because so we have a you can divide each of you can have multiple squads uh it's based on your characters which we'll get to him in a moment leadership and command oops commanding so okay let's just for the sake of simplicity let's i'm gonna get rid of this this right here so the squad doesn't disappear just because you remove everyone from it you can create a new squad as many as you need or like and it'll just sit there at zero and they have the average morale which is the morale of each individual so this particular one is blue. Blue, as far as I can tell, is a hundred, but I'm not sure. That part I'm really not sure. So it's pretty detailed. It's like there's the average morale of the soldier. So there's the morale of the soldier, the morale of the party of the squad, and then the morale of the party. So I have a sexy 69 morale with my mercenaries because they keep getting killed <laughs> or shot at. At least I rely on them a lot to take a lot of the brunt force because they're the most expensive so they get shot a lot so they tend to be unhappy with me but my militias their names only exist because that's what the soldiers were when they first came here except this one which i named anna died oh snap i didn't know that okay so now no more anna i was gonna show off anna <laughs> but she's dead oh well i lost my only companion um well, shoot, I didn't know she died. I didn't know that before I started recording. It's okay. But so, you can take and rearrange the squads any way you want. You just take this guy out, put this guy in, bam. Take that guy out, to put, put this guy back in, bam. And as you can see, when I do that, right, morale 69, 71. That's because he has more morale, so he ups the average. They all have about the same, so it's 69 all around. And if I don't say, okay, I don't particularly like it that low, bam, pay them some money, and now they're happy again. And let's say I don't like the icon that they're using for the squad. Where is it? Uh, where are they? Right there. I don't like it. Bam, change the icon. And now I have a choice of all of these, which includes Anna. <laughs> okay, so good. I'm going to do that. Where's, I'm going to pick a lady. Where's the lovely lady? You. Oops. So you right click them and change squad icon. Bam. Oh, it didn't change it. What? I guess you can't change it to this. I guess I can't. Okay. Oh, well. Look at me. Because I'm still learning the game, right? I'm introducing and learning at the same time. But so yeah, you can set up your squads however you want. So you can put your rifleman in one squad and rename it to the rifle. Rifle squad. Squad. Or whatever. Or you can leave it as is. For now, I'm just leaving it as, leaving it as is because I don't see the benefit. I don't have enough soldiers that are that unique to warrant doing that and all right so all of these guys have a, are now freedom fighters so they all have ak-47 but let's say i didn't like or akms let's say i didn't like the akms i can click this button and then bam replace it and now this guy is forced to use a k-98 because i can override everyone's equipment and force them to rock whatever i have in my inventory if i can't if i don't have it it won't show up like you can see here none of it shows up it's not here it's not here not here not here nothing except that gun one but oh so that that's where the icon changed <laughs> okay that icon i thought it would also change the face of this one okay um put this back to not in a because it'll make me sad knowing that she's dead <laughs> uh use you no that's not the militia one this is the militia one but yeah so yeah i legit didn't realize she had died I thought she had just got in cap. Um, so I'm going to lot over that for a bit. But so back to this. So once you have your squad set up, you can also choose to upgrade their health and their accuracy, their marksmanship. I don't recommend doing this. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but this is 100, but it takes 1,000. So watch. 
I have 34,150. Oh, what? It took 100 this time. Last time it took 1,000 from me. Or maybe it was because of the person I did it to. I don't know. But one of the times I did it, I swear it took 1,000 from me. Let's see what happens if I press this one. There it is. Oh, no. Never mind. It's just 100. <laughs> uh, okay. So then I just learned. It only takes 100. I, I misremembered that. My apologies. Either way, the detailing or the level of customization that they have so far in the game, really, really good. I'm impressed. You can up their marksmanship. You can give them stuff. Their morale is low. You can force them to use a gun that you don't or that they don't want to use. And as far as I can tell, the AI performs with it really well. It doesn't. So like you force them to use. So this guy's used to using an assault rifle. You force him to use a rifle. He doesn't gain any. It, he doesn't flip out and basically shoot everyone in, on his team in the back of the head because he can't use a rifle. They seem to adjust well enough to using the weapon. Which is pretty good. And then also, you disband a squad. I don't feel like doing that, but if you disband all of the soldiers, go right into here. And I don't feel like doing that, so let's go continue over to Prisoner. Prisoner, I like it. So you can, as far as I can tell, you can get as many prisoners as you can carry, but you have to feed them. So we got looters right now, but you can do this. You can click this. So you have three attempts at this. You can click propaganda, bam, which increases their compliance. Now, when their compliance is high, you can persuade to join. And if he joins, now you have a new party member, which in my case is a merc or a looter who will upgrade to a bandit and then eventually upgrade into, I have another one somewhere around here, Armored Marauder, this guy. So if you look right there, he becomes that guy. And okay, so this is an example of someone I don't like his gun, so we're gonna give him the K98 because this is strong. It has a 62. It's a rifle, but it's 62 damage. Has a longer range and it's a bit more accurate. Now these other two, they I might fail at it, and then I can just I don't know what torture does. I haven't done this, but I presume it lowers compliance. Let's find out together. Torture. Oh, that increased it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and then I could force him to join too. Oh snap, that's cool. I didn't know that. I honestly just now learned that. All right, and then our character. So we get marksmanship. You obviously, increases accuracy. Constitution, like most games, increases your health, which you can see over here. Agility, which is your movement speed. Stamina, which is affecting how long you can sprint, and then your ability to camouflage yourself. As far as I can tell, the fights on the map they. The AI doesn't just instantly know where you are. It's not one of those type of games. They actually do seem to have to look for you, which is cool, meaning you can hide. I've hidden from out of sight and sniped at people, and they kept walking. They decided to look for me. They had their guns ready, but they couldn't see me, so they kept moving until they could find a good spot to hide. And then they popped back out and started trying to shoot when they found me. Leadership increases squad sizes, or party size, and then the number of squads you can deploy. So right now I can deploy five squads, as far as I can tell. Or no, I can deploy four, two, extra. Like so, you start with three, I believe, and now I can deploy two more, so five total. And then my intelligence makes more experience, and all of these, again, like in Mountain Blade, influence these. So commanding, you get, you need leadership. Instructor, you need intelligence, or is it leadership? Constitution. What? Leadership, okay. But I say that makes more sense. Inventory is constitution. Navigation is intelligence. Looting should be intelligence, 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 and intelligence. Which I like. It gives more value to intelligence than some games do. Sometimes having that boosted intelligence for a character is useless. This particular one seems to put a lot of value in having intelligence and it forces you to decide what you want to do based on what build. I decided on this character's outlook before I actually read everything, so that's why I have such an awkward set right now of 5, 5, and 1. I wanted a more leadership intelligence character based on the fact how these things play out. But it's too late. We'll wait, boost this, and then I'll boost that later. So you can see how much experience I have, my level, how much health, my head armor, which is none. It's my own fault. I keep putting on sunglasses instead of a helmet because I look cooler. Also, my gloves are gone. And you can see each armor piece has its own form of, or each body part has its own armor, which is good. And my party size, which is 42 out of 46, but my combat size is 35. 
So again, we'll 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 see that difference in a bit. But party size, I can get 46 soldiers. Combat size, that's based on this, I believe. Yes, this, which means which determines how many soldiers I can deploy in a single fight. And so also, if you look, I have a little inventory slot which includes my med kits, my grenades, and ammo. And these are diminishing. They do not. They're not permanent. Obviously, that's why I have extras because I'd have to use them. Now the 5, 6 is for this, and then the K9 that I just gave over to that soldier was what this uses. And this is the M9 for my Makarov. Or Makrova. Makarova. So that's why I have all of this stuff with me. The compasses, I don't know. I won them in a fight, and now I have them. <laughs> and that's why they're here. And... That's it. I think, yeah. We have factions, statistics, how many people I've killed, how many times I've been injured, my parties kills, my party casualties, which includes Anna apparently. <laughs> and you can see the costs of these things, I presume in, pres in locations, but I can't tell because this doesn't move. So I don't exactly know how much, I just presume these are the average costs everywhere. So I need to buy food, 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 food. So let's go buy flour. This, like in Mountain Blade, a lot of it. And uh, you might, I'm gonna avoid, I must, from now, I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna avoid trying to make comparisons between the two games just because I don't think that's the intention. I don't think this game was meant to just be a rip of that or arm. Whoops, I forgot to say, buy it. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't just kind of walk out, you have to hit the deal button right there. If you don't, it'll just not give you it. So, deal. That consume that'll consume a lot but it's worth it because my soldiers seem to eat really fast i don't exactly know how much in a day they eat but they eat a lot all right so we're gonna save because i forgot to and then whoop, pick a fight so now this is where one of my complaints come you cannot fast speed up the walking okay once you click you just click this is one of three complaints i actually have about the game first is you click you just kind of move second i can't tell my speed even though i can kind of gauge it i can gauge who's faster in certain cases but sometimes you know it's very very close it's hard to gauge it and then my third i'm gonna withdraw for a moment is we'll probably see it yeah okay so there's a battle happening over there a the movement range is not very far that's my maximum movement see you can only move this much from your character that's minor but what's major is that the fights, when you see the fights happening, the characters will still be standing there on the map. Meaning you could push them out of the area and theoretically talk to them. I haven't tried that part yet because I'm too afraid I'll crash the game. But yeah, you'll find a lot of characters just kind of standing around like idiots. They don't go inside the city in avo to avoid being interfered with outside. And final thing is, as far as I can tell, you can't do allied fights. I've not seen anyone do 2v2 or anything.